Lactantius Epitome, Episode 9 Caput Secundum Secutur alia quaestio, utrumine deus unus an plurres, quaequidem multum habet ambiguitatis, dissenti unt enem non modo singuli inter se, verdrum etiam populi atque gentes. Another, alia or a second, quaestio, dispute or inquiry, follows, sequitur. Sequitur is a third singular from the deponent verb sequor sequi, third conjugation. Quaestio is often best not translated as question, but as a controversy or an inquiry. This indicates an area of concern or consideration. So a second area of concern follows, and this is it, utrumne an. Notice the utrum an asks an alternative question. That is a question with two possibilities. Whether or not, whether there is one God, Deus Unus, or in fact there are many, plures. So we have Deus Unus, masculine, singular, and nominative, and plures, masculine, plural, and nominative. Implicit here is sent or perhaps sit, because this is an indirect question. That is, the sentence is not punctuated as a question. It's subordinate. This question is subordinate to the main verb sequitur. Another inquiry follows, namely whether there is one God or many. And the sentence concludes with a relative clause, quaequidem, etc. The antecedent of quae is quaestio. And so quaestio, feminine, singular, and nominative, determines the gender, feminine, and the number, singular, of the pronoun which replaces it, but the case is determined by its use. This one actually happens to be nominative because it's the subject of habet. So which quaestio, which controversy, in fact, has habet or contains multum ambiguitatis, a fair amount of uncertainty, a great degree of ambiguity, to use the derivative, and this is feminine, singular, and genitive, a third declension noun. Now Lactantius will give the reason, enim, why there is a multum ambiguitatis in this quaestio. For, he says, dissentiunt, they disagree, non modo, there is disagreement, or they are in disagreement, not only individuals, singuli, among themselves, and singuli, masculine, plural, and nominative, as the subject of dissentiunt, so not only do individuals disagree among themselves, verdrum etiam, but also entire peoples, populi, and nations, entire groups of people or tribes and nations dissentiunt among themselves on this very question. Notice how smooth and simple and straightforward is the style of Lactantius. Non modo, verum etiam, a very Ciceronian expression. The verb here comes first, dissentiunt, singuli inter se, populi atque gentes. Very nice, period. You can pick out the collection of gods here. We have Hephaestus and Pluto, Aphrodite, etc. The god and king of them all, of course, is Zeus himself, seated here on his throne with his lightning bolt. These fine cartoon images are courtesy of my friend, Dr. Jeff Winkle.